In this video, we are going to make an example of a master detail relationship between two tables in Blazor. The idea is the following. We will have two tables. One of them is going to be for students and the other one is going to be for addresses. And there is going to be a one-to-many relationship between students and addresses so that each student has several addresses. We want to create a form that can handle several addresses so that one student can have zero addresses, another student can have one, another two, and so on. And of course, in a master detail relationship, the detail does not make sense without the master. In our case, an address does not make sense without the corresponding student. So if we delete an student, every address of that student should also be deleted. So let's see what we got. We got this students create component in which we have this edit form component through which we are creating the student. Here we are inserting the name of the student and we can see the student class here. We have an ID, a name, and a list of addresses. And in address, we have the ID, a street, and city. What we want to do now is to have this form able to receive multiple addresses. They can be 0, 1, 2, 3, or whatever amount of addresses we want to insert for the student. Outside of that, everything is done. Let's press Ctrl F5 to see this. Just to see what we're dealing with, we can go to a students. We can go to new student and here we have our form. I can write my name, I can press send and that will create the student in the database and I can click on clear and that is going to clear the form. So now let's get to work. Let's go here and what we want to do is to have a button that is going to allow me to insert a new address. And we know that we have an addresses property here. So what we're going to do is that when we press that button, we're going to add a new address here. And then with a for each, we're going to iterate this addresses property and we're going to display one address form per address that we have in this property. Let's do that. Let's go here and we're going to say div and we're going to say here form group. And we're going to repeat this because we need another form group. So we have this new form group here. And here we will put the button, which is going to be class button, button, secondary, address. And we're going to say on click. And we're going to use an explicit expression, a lambda expression, because we're going to say a student dot addresses dot add. And we're going to add a new address here. And then below this button, below this div that we have here, we're going to use not a for each, but a for, because we're going to need the index of the address so that we can remove it from our addresses list. So let's say var id equal to zero, i less than a student addresses count. And we're going to count one by one. And we're going to say var index equal to i and we need to get this variable here because this i is going to be changing but this index is going to stay the same that way when we say remove the address at index index then we're going to have the correct value now i'm going to say address equal to a student addresses and we're going to say this one from here and then we're going to do the following. We're going to say header five, address number, and we're going to say explicit expression i plus one. So this will be address one or address two and so on. Then let me make a form group and let's say label a street. This is one of the two properties of our address entity. Let's say input text class form control and bind value equal to address dot street and let's do the same for city let me copy this i will duplicate this and then i will say here city and then here city also 
And finally, let's add a button for removing the address. So let's say type button. We need to say type button so that this button does not post the form. Let's say class button button danger. And we're going to say remove. And let's say here on click another explicit expression. We're going to use a lambda expression. We're going to say a student addresses remove at and because of this remove at i had to say index equal to i so that i can keep that value from changing and that's it again what we're doing here is that we have this add address button that is going to add a new address into the addresses list and then this for loop here is going to iterate the addresses list and for each of them is going to create a small form so that the user can enter the street and city fields. And of course, we also give the user the ability to remove a specific address. That's all I had to do. Let's press Ctrl F5 to test this. Let's go to students. Let's go to new student. I will say Felipe here, and then I can say add address. And as you can see, we have address one. I can click again, so I can have address two, address three and so on and of course i can remove a specific address for example i can remove address two and then address two again and then address one one more time and then we are left without any addresses and of course i can add again how many addresses i want and then i can click on clear and this is going to clear the entire form and if we say felipe and now let's fill the form one more time but this time we are indeed going to send the information to the backend so that we can add the student and the addresses in our database so let's say here street 2 city 2 and we're going to press send and then we are redirected back here into the student's index component and now i can go to sql server management studio and here i have this database blazor master detail and I can go to tables and I can go to students. I will say select up 1000 rows. And here we have Felipe. And in addresses, we have select up and we have a street one, city one for a student one and a street two, city two also for a student one. Now, the next step will be to create some edit functionality. Right now, this is not working because that is something that we're going to do in the next video but I want you to give it a try. With everything we have learned so far of Blazor, this is something that you can do. I have made videos in the past about creating a CRUD with Blazor, so this is something that you should be able to tackle, but keep in mind that the user should be able to add new addresses for the student. You need to retrieve the current addresses for the student. The user also should be able to edit a single or multiple addresses, remove addresses, and so on. That is something that I'm going to do in the next video, but you should try it. Thanks.